Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be on replacing the circuit board for the 5900BT valve. The first step is going to be to remove this plastic sheathing. Go ahead, just pop your fingers under there, wiggle it out up, upwards. Now that will come off. First step in powering this down is going to be removing the 9 volt battery that is connected to these pins. Go ahead, pop that battery off. Then the next step it's going to be taking a look at these pins on the side right here, one located on each side. To remove this, simply put your fingers on the pins and pull outwardly. This will cause the face to pop off. So now you're looking at the circuit board. You're going to want to remove the motor piston connector, then the power connector, and then the water meter connector, and then finally the optic sensor connector which is going to come out from the top side right here on the valve. To remove these pins, just go ahead and grab them and wiggle them out side to side. And go ahead and go to the next one. Pop that one out just as so. Next one. And finally on top, remember to remove the optic sensor from the top of the control valve. You're going to be taking a look at your old circuit board right here. Go ahead and grab the new one. It's going to be the same step for putting it back on. Put on your little op new optic sensor on top. Plug in the new water meter connectors. Plug in power connectors. And finally plug in your piston and motor connectors. Fix the face back onto the device by pressing it into the tab in the slots and the tabs that it has. Reinstall a 9 volt battery. After that, you have completed your circuit board swap. Thank you for watching Clean Water Store. Please have a great day.